what's up guys, NJVI96 here with Windows Help Live. As you can see, this is my new editing computer, and I'm going to have my first tutorial from here today. And it's going to be in Adobe Flash CS4 Professional. So we'll go ahead and open that up. Um, do I want to help improve? No, I do not. I'm just going to open it up. Okay, now that we got it open, we're just going to click Flash File Action Script 3.0. Now we've got it like this. We are going to go ahead and just drag the timeline here to 60 seconds. You're going to right click, click Insert Frame, and now you've got your timeline ready. And what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you guys how to use a classic tween. And that is to really important to make your animations. So now that we've got this here, we are going to file, import to stage, and we'll go ahead and go with let's go with my new grunge picture. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna move your timeline marker down here and then you're also going to come down here to the end you're going to click create classic tween now you should see how it's added the dots now you're going to go to your one you're going to come up here and put your picture however you want it to be at the first frame so let's say we want it to be full screen like that okay now we're going to move it to our five on the timeline and we're gonna move it make it just a little bit smaller like that now we'll move it to our 10 mark and some free transform make it just a little bit smaller same thing at 15 a little bit smaller. This is just a quick little thing guys. I'm not really making it all that good. I mean I've you guys have seen my intro that was done here in Flash. That took me a lot of time. I'm not kidding. That was like two hundred layers of things. Keep going. Just a little bit smaller. And you guys can do classic tweens. You can move whatever you want. You can mix like 10 pictures together at the same time. Just playing around with it. But we're going to make it really small now. And then now at 50, we're going to like have it be all the way up here. 55 be off the screen. Okay, now if you go back to our beginning thing and if you click enter on your keyboard, it shows you your animation. And you can adjust over here. If you go back. Hold on, what happened there? I changed the outline of it. Just hit the control Z and undo that. There we go. But if you go over here, you can adjust your frames per second. Say we want 60 frames per second. It'll be over in one second. Or we can put it on 20 frames per second. The standard frame rate is anywhere between 20 and 35 I usually like mine kind of on the slow side but you don't want it to be too slow because if you get it down like an excess of like 7 see it looks really jumpy like that but anyway you guys can do all the things you want guys and this is um, been MJVI96 with Windows Help Live and just one more quick thing I just want to let you guys know 
this is the um, from now on, I'm going to be handling all of ad all Adobe uh, tutorials while Eric is handling all Windows tutorials. So this is how it's going to be. If you guys have a suggestion, leave it at the bottom. And uh, as far as what Adobe softwares we have to offer right now, we have After Effects, Dreamweaver, InDesign, Flash Pro, Illustrator, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Fireworks, Premiere Elements. And that's it. But if you guys want us to do more, we can. Anyway, guys, one more time. That was just a quick little thing we did using a classic tween like that. That's way too slow. But still, guys, that is a little classic tween for you. And if used correctly, it can really make your animations really nice and make them look really cool. Hope you guys like my new logo, by the way, too. I spent time doing that in Photoshop. But anyway, guys, so this has been the first tutorial off my new uh, program, and I hope you guys liked it. Thanks.